and we're live. Hello, Bernie. How are you, Joe? Wonderful. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's exciting to have you here, man. And it's uh, obviously an, an exciting time for you. Um, you know, presidential campaign is up in full swing. Do you uh, do you get frustrated by the the time constraints of the debates? Absolutely. It's you shouldn't even call them a debate. Uh, what they are is a um, you know reality TV show in which you have to come up with a soundbite and all that stuff. It is the meaning. It's the meaning to the candidates and it's the meaning to the American people. You can't explain the complexity of health care in America in forty five seconds. Nobody can. But why is it still done that way? If you try to, to let's pull this thing, like, bring it right there. Um, you know, I think the DNC is in a difficult position. They have twenty plus candidates, and they want to give everybody a fair shot, which is is the right thing to do. No, it's not, Barney. It's not the right thing to do. So, so, um, so, Joe, this <laughs> Bernie Sanders is on Joe Rogan, man. That shit is powerful. The link is down below if you want to watch it. You should watch it. Everybody should watch it. I know. You fucking Bernie Sanders. He's a, he's a socialist. Look, uh, going forward, I might have to start deleting comments because now I'm considering it. I'm taking your bullshit as spam. If all you want to do is come over to this channel and, and every time I say Bernie Sanders, you say commie little socialist, fuck you, all right? Fuck you. Go away already right because you, you're i've said it i've defined it so many freaking times already and it doesn't get through your thick skulls that it's not socialism it's that is a talking point that you have been sold to to steal your money to take away your your treasure you fucking idiots there i said it so so um marcus conti reporting so there's new polls <laughs> there's new polls out you heard new polls. Uh, let's take a look at the new polls. So Bernie Sanders was on Joe Rogan. Let me talk about that. I'll talk about the uh, the way the election is currently being rigged and uh, the primary is being rigged and the polling is being rigged and all the rigging that's going on. And uh, what else could we talk about? I'll talk, uh, and, uh, you know, that it is Bernie or bust, that there is no other candidate. So let's, um, let's look at the – let's look. so, again, Joe Rogan – interviews Bernie Sanders. Fantastic interview. They give he gives him a whole hour, probably gave him two hours, and Bernie said, No, 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 could we do it in one hour? Uh, so he Bern, so Joe Rogan opened the um opened the time up to Bernie Sanders for the hour or two. Now it was not Ber, although Joe Rogan is throwing softball questions at Bernie, what are you gonna do about health care? What are you gonna do about income and wealth inequality? What are you going to do about gun violence? What are you going to do about climate change? On and on and on. He, Joe Rogan asked all the right questions, but he didn't let him off easily. He pushed Bernie to ask him specifically what you would do to solve the problem. All right? So it's a great interview to watch. Bernie is personable. It's not, I thought it would go more funny and, and very, very uh, tongue-in-cheek, but it really didn't. Joe, Joe Rogan did an amazing job. He's doing what the Young Turks should have done years ago, which is really push him on the issue and, and let, the, let the American people see the issues. It's not a fucking talent show. It's not a, a popularity contest. It's, it's the job of running the government for the people, of the people, by the people. And in my, in my view, Bernie Sanders unequivocally, unescapably, undeniably has the proper policies that push the country forward. In contrast to Donald Trump, who has no policies and no ideology, Bernie Sanders is the clear favorite. Is he a perfect human being? Absolutely not. Do I agree with every issue that he stands for? Absolutely not. Do I agree with the, the, the premise of corruption in government, corporate corruption that steals our treasure? Absolutely. Do I agree with uh, getting money out of politics? Absolutely. Do I agree that the... the that, that we have to transition into clean energies? Absolutely. Do I believe in universal single-payer health care as a right in America? Absolutely. Is, should education be a, a uh, advanced free education, public education from high school? We have it from zero to high school. Now just advance it four years in college. Do I agree with that notion? Absolutely. I would even go one step further and say, that um, 
that uh, you should that the, you you should transition into trade schools, not just hardcore uh, academics like English and such. Do trade schools. Do like you know, like iron workers and whatever, whatever, whatever types of trades we need. Computer trades, whatever. Uh, and free, free, free of charge. Uh, what I disagree, of course. He's you know, Bernie goes on to say um, he would only legalize marijuana. I believe legalize all drugs. Bernie says uh, we should aban- abandon uh, 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 outlaw assault rifles. I fundamentally disagree with that. I think that guns are guns are guns, and uh, but Bernie never says it's the uh, it, it's uh, ban guns. The gun is bad. Bernie talks about mental health, so it's a definite watch. I'm, I'm not going to play it all. It's an hour long. You can watch it on your own time. But let's talk about the uh, so so the debate, right? <clears throat> the um, Democratic debate of. 10 people on stage, two nights, is exhausting. Even for someone like me who I'm almost forced to watch it. I have to watch four hours of jostling. Uh, it, it's very insulting, as Bernie said in the, in, 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 initially, that it is, um, it is a, uh, it, it's degrading to the people involved, and it's degrading to the American people that have to sit and watch this stuff. There's no way you can get your message off in 30 seconds, 35 seconds, 50 seconds. Impossible to explain very detailed policy. But nonetheless, that is what we're doing. Let's talk about this first. So how is the, how is the rigging? I'll talk about the polls in a second. How is the primary being rigged? Right? Now, is it being rigged? Yes, it is being rigged right now. Nobody, anybody who says it's going to be rigged, it's going to be rigged more, yeah, you're right, it is going to be rigged more. But it is rigged right now. How so? Okay? You have a crowded field and a crowded debate stage. That works to the disadvantage of the well-known politician, the favorite, the guy who probably won the Democratic primary in 2016, who is the, one of the most popular candidates in the country, one of the most popular politicians in the country. It diffuses his message because you're surrounding him with garbage, with su- shit sandwiches, and you're only giving him 30 seconds to explain himself. Right. That's one way. That was never done in the past. That is something new that the Democrats are now doing. These five points. Biased polling. The pff, Quinnipiac and, and fucking who else? All these polling companies are, are bullshit, right? They're just... They, they, um, they wrongly, uh, uh, they, they pick the people that they want to talk to. So in the case of the Democrats, they only call landlines and they only call old people and such. So, so the, the, the polls are deeply skewed. The polls that, that all of the debates are based on, uh, it, you can't get into the debate unless you have uh, a strong showing in four polls. And the polls are what the fake news media leans on. So, again, rig the polls, have the debates reflect the polls, and then, uh, and then have the media talk about the fake poll as if it were real. Right? So heavy bias in polling, crowded field debates. Change the DNC rules right before the, you know, before the case, right? So here's the rules. The rules have changed. The crowd the field so that no candidate can get to 50% of the pledged delegates and have the superdelegates come in on a second ballot and overturn the will of the people. You don't think it's going to happen? Of course it's going to happen. Unless, at least like, for example, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren can game the system and maybe pull support from a third or a fourth candidate and and commingle their uh, votes and beat out the corporate Democrat. That's what's going to happen, right? So... Are they going to, are are, is the DNC capable of cheating? Of course they are. They cheated. It's already on the record, right? The fucking they cheat, right? So change the rules. Media collusion right, with the corporate Democrats. Go on mainstream media. I do it sometimes just by, you know, by default. And you will hear the commentators championing Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, uh, you know, and bashing Bernie Sanders and to a less degree, bashing Elizabeth Warren, the progressives. So elevate the corporate Democrats who have no following, have, have, are, are far less in, uh, doing far less in terms of bringing in new people, individual donors. Bernie Sanders has more individual donors than everybody, I think, combined, 
Uh, so Bernie Sanders is clearly um, is clearly the favorite amongst young people. Is clearly the favorite amongst individual donors. Right? But the the polls don't reflect that because the polls are supposed to reflect the corporate Democrat winner. And who is that? We'll find out in a second. Of course, it's Joe Biden. Still, even after the debate, even after the disaster, even after he had his foot in his mouth the whole time, he's still t- top top of the top. Right. So media collusion. Collusion, that's the word that, that the Democrats then tried to put on Trump, that he was colluding with Russia. But the Democrats collude with the media, the Democratic c- Committee. They, they pick who they want to talk about. It's all, it's all rigged. Uh, and censorship on the Internet. Don't let other voices be heard. Let the voice, let the government inform the mainstream media, the fake media, and that's what you're supposed to believe and digest in all aspects of your life, right? especially in terms of the election. So that's how it's being rigged. Those are five preliminaries. How will they do it later? Of course, they'll, they'll um, cancel the polling, uh, cancel the exit polling so that nobody knows. When, when someone walks out of a polling station and votes, they're almost always, if they're willing to talk, they're almost always willing to tell you who they voted for. And those, that, that is very, very accurate. Someone tells you who they voted for, you write it down, and, and you do it over and over again, and that's, a, that's called an exit poll, and it's close to accurate, within, within 2% margin of error. And our exit polls are off 15 20%. So rigging the machines is one way that they'll do it in the future. They'll purge voters off the rolls. They'll give them provisional ballots that never get counted. Uh, millions of votes will never be counted. Uh, they'll prevent in New York, you have to register six months ahead of time to be involved in the primaries. you gotta, you got to register now, and if you forget, you can't vote for Bernie Sanders. You can't vote. And then so then what? You, you're stuck with voting for a shit sandwich Democrat or fucking Trump four more years. So, so here's, the, um, here's the newest newest polls, for whatever they're worth. We'll just look at them. Look at how they're rigging the goddamn thing already. So Quinnipiac has Biden 32% of the vote. This is August 6th. August 6th, after after the prime, or after the debate where Joe Biden looked like a jack-off uh, and so did Kamala Harris. But no, 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 no. They do the polling and they get the number that they're looking for. Joe Biden, Quinnipiac, Joe Biden, 32%, Sanders, 14%, Elizabeth Warren, 21%. So they've got, they've got Biden, 32, Warren, 21, Sanders, 14. So they've got, they've got Joe Biden beating Bernie Sanders, two to one, and then they slip in that Elizabeth Warren right in the middle. Camilla Harris, uh, maybe they're being honest, it's, she's actually tanking 7%. But Buttigieg, 5%. Beto O'Rourke, 2 Booker, 2 Yang, 1 uh, Kirsten Gillibrand. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, still, still 1%. Still hanging in there. Uh, Biden, uh, let's look at the next one. Politico and Morning Consultants. Uh, Politico's got, Politico has got Biden, 33%. Sanders, 19 And Warren, 15%. Harris nine, so she's still she's tanking into single digits. Uh, I don't know. Do we believe it? I mean, is it all fake? I don't know. I always said that Harris was not the, was not the corporate pick. Camilla Harris is not the corporate pick. Joe Biden is the corporate pick. I keep telling you that. Why? Because they had the the, the powwow in New York. They already talked about it. He's the corporate pick. He's the corporate pick. Nothing will change. In his own words, nothing will change. Joe Biden is the corporate pick. So another one, presidential primary in New Hampshire, Boston Globe Suffolk did a uh, poll, has Biden 21, Warren 14%, and Sanders 17%. Harris still slipping to 8, Buttigieg 6, uh, Yang 1, Tulsi Gabbard, they got a 3% in, in New Hampshire. So that's impressive. So again, uh, uh, Tulsi Gabbard uh, said she's she's uh, she believed Bush for for Iraq, uh, you know, to invade Iraq. She's she's pro BD, she's anti BDS legislation. 
I, I'm not with it. I, you know, I'm not with. It. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want a militant. I still like her pro- progressive policies. She did a great job at attacking Kamala Harris. Whoop the fucking do. All right? She she said the attack dog. We could use her as an attack dog, if you want to. Right? So you know, if you're offended by that shit, fuck you. This is my opinion, man. Uh, this is my educated opinion. I've been doing this longer than you. <laughs> so, so that's the polls. That's the uh, fake polls. And uh, that's how they're going to rig it. And uh, you should definitely go, definitely watch the Joe Rogan, Bernie Sanders, the human uh, Bernie Sanders. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. I'll say this one last time, right? And I know, I know. Uh, you guys, if you want to fuck, say fuck you, Conti, one more time, go ahead and say it. Uh, you could do that. And, and then I'm going to block your fucking, you block your name, right? Because I'm getting tired of it. I, I, I know it's, it's censorship, Conti censoring you, but no, it, it borders on spam. Why does someone come over to a channel that they know they don't agree with the guy all just to, just to taunt the, the um, it's not, you're not taunting me because it doesn't, it doesn't offend me as much as it, it offends me that you're offending people that have a legitimate comment. That's called spam. You're spamming the channel when you do that. Uh, so just, just for clarification, right? So if I delete your spam, that's why I did it. Uh, so listen, it's Bernie or bust. It's Bernie or bust. There is no, there is no candidate. There is no candidate on the, on the field, in the field, that can beat Donald Trump. No candidate can beat Donald Trump. Donald Trump is, is way out ahead, is a very, very seasoned, you know, agile, capable politician, capable debater. Right? Nobody is going to beat him unless it's Bernie Sanders and unless they're debating on policy. Unless it's Trump and Sanders, Bernie Sanders wins 100%. Now, I've always said if there's any cheating that, that Trump will win. Trump, any cheating, if Bernie Sanders is cheated at all, Trump will win. So far, I'm right. Right? So far, the polling, if the polling is accurate, at least it, it, you, we don't even know. But the fact is they're already cheating, and that's already an indication that Trump is in the lead. Right? Because they're cheating, they're cheating the lead candidate, Bernie Sanders. They're cheating crowded field, biased polling, DNC rule change, media collusion, censoring out the voices on the Internet, right? trolls, tons of tr- you know, pro Democrat trolls, pro corporate trolls, bashing you know right here on 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 the internet uh, on YouTube they'll do it they'll come here and and they'll bash and they think oh no no it's Bernie Sanders it, it's uh, oh no Trump 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 right. see Democrats are pro Trump remember that the Democrats would rather win with Trump than win or lose well they'd rather they'd rather win with Trump than win with Bernie Sanders if they if Bernie Sanders squeaks through the primary and then the Democrats start to work against him, I mean, that could happen as well, right? That could happen as well. And they'll say, see, we told you so, we told you so. Right? Because they're not going to support, they're not going to support their own candidate because they'd rather have Trump. Now, that is a possibility. Do you lose straight out with Biden and, and, and then get accused of cheating again because you are going to cheat again? Or... Do you, you go with Sanders and then smear him internally like they've done before? DNC, we, we know that they've done that before. So, so look, again, if, if, it's, if it's clear over cheating right up until the end, the scenario of the D, you're at the DNC convention and you know, the superdelegates step in and overturn the vote or the Bernie, the Bernie Sanders supporters are asked to leave the building like they were the last time, you know, pushed out the door, <laughs> the delegates. I, if any of that stuff happens, if there's poll rigging, if there's if there's um, uh, election rigging, if primaries are, if polling stations are closed, if provisional ballot ballots are not counted, if exit polls are canceled, if all that stuff starts to happen again, it's 100% guarantee that Trump is your president. One, understand that, Democrats. Now I know you, you're feeding right into the hands of the. The, uh, the, the right, for whatever that is, Fox loves that shit, and so does the corporate media. They don't want Bernie Sanders. They don't want to fucking eliminate, uh, you know, the, the pharmaceutical lobby. They don't want to get rid of the insurance companies. They're going to spend billions of dollars. Listen to Sanders' interview. Listen to the interview. Billions of dollars to convince you against, to vote against 
or believe against your own best interest. You have a vested interest in a, in a, in a universal health care system, a system that, that, that um, gets money out of politics, that, that deflates the corporate oligarchy, that taxes corporations and lets that money hit the real economy. People say, oh, no, if you tax them, they'll leave. They already left. They don't contribute. They're just sucking. They're taking. If they're going to leave, let them leave. Let them fucking leave, and we'll start over. Right? You can just start over. Just have, then you have a, a renaissance of, of small businesses growing again rather than being you know, uh, 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 enslaved by corporations that just take. I mean, th- there's even no logic to say that. Oh, the corporations will leave if you tax them. No, you, if you tax them, they're not, first of all, they're not going to physically leave the United States. They're just going to, they'll succumb to tax them on business abroad. Trump did away with that, right? They did away with the taxation of corporations that make money abroad. Right? They don't pay anything. They, all they do is take. And they, you know, they, get, they get free money from the Fed. They buy back their own stock. They give themselves a million dollar, million dollar bonuses. So look, the, the, the bottom line is if, if Sanders is not the nominee and the Democrats do not support him, it is four more years of Donald Trump. If you like that idea, then you, you've got a winning policy. You've got a winning strategy. Right? You've got a winning strategy. Just let it all happen because, because the Democrats can't get out of their own way. You're contributing to the demise of your own nation by, by, by promoting Trump, by supporting Trump and his, his uh, pro-corporate, pro, uh, pro-corporation, you know, it just it causes the wars. It causes the, the military-industrial complex. It causes health care to not be provided to its people. It provides, you know, ignorance in, in, in education. Uh, all these things are contributing factors. So if you want that... If you want that, Donald Trump is your man, right? And, hey, look, I'll still be here. I'll still here, be here talking about it. And, you know, Trump is, is, is uh, comedy. He's, I mean, it's just he's, he's a nonstop flood of, you know, funny material. And I'll still be here talking about it. But the fact is it doesn't, it doesn't move the country forward and the country in the direction we need to be. It's not the old socialism. Stop getting caught in the word Socialism, you're playing it to the hands of the, of the monopoly. It's not socialism of, of communist Russia. All socialism is the same. No. Social programs, police, fire department, education, health care. Those are social programs, social security. That's what it is. Right? It's just relax. Nobody wants to turn your country into communist failing Russia of 1940s. It's not... The same goddamn thing. What the hell? How else does it have to be explained to you? It's just crazy, man. It's just, it's just the, most, it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. How people are just goddamn stubborn that they, don't, they, they, vote, against, they vote against their own, uh, their own uh, interests. And, uh, and it, is, it isn't that. I take that back. It's not that hard to explain. It's corporate money. It's corporate money. It's gaslighting. You've been gaslit to, to believe that shit. So, uh, Marcus Conti reporting.